Hey guys, today I wanted to show you my new 13-inch uh, Dell uh, laptop. Uh, I got the developer's edition from Dell, which comes uh, with uh, Linux on it, with uh, Ubuntu. Uh, and uh, I was somewhat happy with Ubuntu. It... Uh, can benefit from a fair amount of customization to get it just the way you want it. And I had it fairly close. Uh, I still wasn't completely satisfied with the way I had it. And I ran into some trouble uh, with uh, the GNOME shell extensions. And looking online, I found reference to the problems. And I found enough information that I think I might have solved it with a fair amount of work. I didn't see anybody that had a simple, you know, click this or enter this uh, command in a terminal and that will solve your problem. Uh, but I, as I say, I think I might have solved it. But I was thinking, well, if you're going to have a problem you've got to solve and you are still got a fair amount to get it just the way you want it, why not try something that's probably closer to what you want to start with? Uh, so I tried a second Linux distribution, uh, Linux Mint 19.1 uh, with uh, Cinnamon Desktop, which is developed by Linux Mint. Uh, very happy with it. As you can see, it looks very much like a uh, Windows machine. It's got your desktop icons, got your system tray over here, has your panel, and your start menu. You know, uh, with your favorites and with your categories over here and all of your applications. Uh, and I'm very happy with it. I've tweaked it some to make it even more like how I want it. Uh, but I'm very happy with it. Uh, let's see. If, uh, if you aren't too happy with Windows 10 and you're familiar with Windows uh, system, I'd say Linux is a very good system to try. Uh, if you get uh, you might want to do a little research to do it if you're getting a, a new system, especially to make sure that it's compatible with Linux. Because if you get the newest hardware, sometimes you might have a problem with the driver not being writ written for it. Uh, that's one of the reasons I went with the Dell system. I knew that since it came uh, with Linux installed, that it should have be, you know, shouldn't be any problem to get all the drivers that I needed. And I. Um, I'm fairly happy with it as a games machine. I thought I'd show you a little bit about that. Of course, it comes with stuff like Solitaire. You know, like uh, about any system is going to have. A... I think it was installed on there. I don't think I added that. But, you know, there was a set of games that came with it. And, you know, things like uh, Mahjong. Which, uh, you know. Pretty decent copy of those types of games. And one of the really nice games that I've downloaded for it here, you know, it, it does have its own app store where you can you know, get your uh, games here, for example. You know, you know a, a 3D kart racing game. Uh, Hedge Wars, you know, turn-based strategy games. Looks like a, you know, fairly decent selection of games. Uh, and one of which I downloaded and I'm very happy with uh, is uh, Burger Space. Obviously a Burger Time clone. Uh, plays nice. Uh, the only thing about it is uh, the keys or the arrow keys on this... Uh, machine are uh, you know a little close together a little hard to use for for really quick responsive gaming and as you can see the main, main reason I usually don't uh, The main reason I don't uh, record commentary while I'm playing a game as a rule is 
that I'm uh, not very good at talking while playing the game. Not very good at doing both things at once. Uh, but I wanted to show you this just a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll do a letter, better gameplay of it later on. And the other thing that I'm very happy with, uh, of course I've used this on uh, Windows machines as well, but it's a DOSBox emulator. Uh, not sure if this is available on the Mac. I would think it would be, but it's definitely available for Linux. And so it emulates a DOS machine, so you can play all your old DOS games on it. For example, have on it here uh, Keen Dreams uh, when uh, when uh, id Software developed uh, Commander Keen and they were working with uh, soft disk they had an uh, a uh, an agreement with soft disk and uh, in order to uh, get out of that agreement uh, and go with uh, id Software, uh, they agreed uh, with uh, that they would that uh, that Apache Software would provide a game for uh, Soft Disk. Not sure what that was, and that id would provide a game for Soft Disk. Uh, and this is the game, uh, Keen Dreams, uh, somewhere a little bit between uh, the original Commander Keen and Goodbye Galaxy. Uh, an interesting game in which you're uh, attacked by vegetables and uh, you shoot flowers at them, flower power at them, and uh, you can't kill anything in this game. You, uh, I mean, if you show, if you see here, after just a little bit of turning into a flower, your enemy will cut back, and so you so it makes changes the strategy a little bit. Fun game to play, uh, along with a lot of other fun games that I have uh, from, uh, you know, from my PC that I can play, and a lot of other fun games on here. Just wanted to give you, you know, kind of a rambling uh, look at uh, Linux Mint, and a little bit of gameplay and show you why maybe I won't do as many live recordings of gameplay because I know when I play a game if I'm going to do any good at all I'm going to not be common commenting and playing games at the same time but just wanted to give you a quick look at uh, this my new uh, Dell system running Linux Mint and uh, the uh, and the way I was using it as a game machine. And uh, enough rambling for now, so as always, more later.